What's going on guys? My name is Lieben and today I'm going to be using this 3M Ultra Headlight Restoration Kit on my 350Z. Now my camera doesn't have like wide angle lens or anything like that. So it's pretty zoomed in which is why I can't get this whole box pretty much fit in here. But here is the box from 3M and as you can see it says you can it's easy heavy duty restoration for 40 minutes uh, once i'm outside and show you guys the 350z i'll show you guys why i got this one uh the headlights you might have seen already on that car are pretty horrible um they have a lot of yellowing and haziness and which is why i went and got the heavy duty one they sell another one that's for uh more light haziness um that doesn't need that much repairing but yeah, this one says it should take about 40 minutes. Uh, I hope that's for both headlights and not each, because then that would be over an hour, about an hour and a half. But if we open it up, we see this right here is the instructions. It's like a little foldable paper, which tells you what to do and how to do it. Here we have the tape that it says that it brings so you don't, so you can put it around the headlights. Here we have the pads, right here, these ones up front are the 801, they bring four of them. Then this one right here is more of a foam pad, that's the 3001, I'm guessing that's the one that you would end with. And it has some 500 grit pads as well. We got some more in here. Here we have the two headlight clear coat um, pads, I think they said they were. Or I guess they're wipes, it seems, it says they're headlight wipes with clear coat in them. Hopefully they haven't dried out. Here we have the glove that it says that it brings. Oh, and then next is the attachment with some other pads. Oh, this one seems to be stuck on it already. Another 500 grit pad. Here is the drill attachment to put the pads on here. Then we have couple more 500 grit seems that there's like I believe it said there are six 500 grit pads in total so there's quite a few of them and that is the last thing that there is so here is everything that the kit includes if I remember correctly it cost 20 bucks I got it at an O'Reilly's and auto parts store here close to where I am so I guess I'll go ahead and test it out and see if it's worth uh, 20 bucks. It's a 3M product, so honestly, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go ahead and work. I've seen some other people use it, and they're pretty happy with the results. Now I'll go ahead and head outside to the car and get started. All right, and as you guys can see, these headlights have seen better days. There is fogging and then just grime all over them, which makes them look just really nasty. This one you might be able to see it more because the sun's kind of hitting on it, but these things are super foggy. So first thing it says to do is basically go ahead and clean them with some soap and water. So then we can go ahead and put some tape on them. All right, so I have my glove on. I have some soap and water, so I'll go ahead and start cleaning. <laughs> Actually looks like just by cleaning it a lot of the grime already came off if you guys can see this was white before and now it's all brown so I guess cleaning it worked a little bit but right here you can still see some spots some sort of stain that was on there for a long time and it's still stuck embedded in there and once it's drying off you can see it's kind of getting hazy again so we'll continue all right and now that the lens has had time to be cleaned and washed I can go ahead and now start putting some tape around the paint so I don't get any of that scratched up what what the f all right guys and as you guys can see it's not the stickiest of tape it's not really sticking at all to the bumper it's kind of sticking here to the fender uh, might be because it's metal and this is plastic but I might have to just go ahead and use some tape that I already have because this does not seem to be working out 
all right guys so i decided to give this tape another chance and after i kind of took a little bit more time putting it on there being a little bit more careful it did seem to stick a little bit better there are some spots where it's still lifting up i tried adding some more tape to see if that would help it um it seems to be kind of holding up uh hopefully this holds up until um, i get the headlight done and on the instruction it actually does say for better protection to go ahead and put two layers of tape on there and to not put it where there is any uh, like loose paint i think part of the issue is that too that on here there was still some water that hadn't dried up and that's not helping um the tape stick okay so now the next step it says is to go ahead and get the drill bit and your drill and go ahead and add the 500 grit sanding pad onto it i didn't read anywhere on there that said to add water which was kind of strange to me um I won't go ahead and do it and I'll follow the instructions. It says on the other pads later down the road to go ahead and add water. So for this one I'll just go ahead and do it like that um, without anything on and it says if it gets clogged or whatever go ahead and replace it with one of the other ones that it brings. So here goes nothing. Then it says that once you think that you've gone ahead and sanded it all, go ahead and wipe it down. And if there's still some glossy spots, that means that it hasn't been sanded enough. And to go ahead and continue. Here on the edges, I didn't do it with the drill. I might just go ahead and do it by hand because I'm, the drill is going too fast and it's already cutting some of the tape. So I want to be careful and not get some of the paint on the body. And here you can see all of the grime and I'm guessing some of the clear coat that comes off of the tail light. All right, and it does look pretty foggy and hazy, but I'll go ahead and give it one more uh, swirl or one more pass through with a drill just to make sure I get everything. All right, and I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the pad and fold it here so I can go ahead and get the edges that I was talking about. Um, it doesn't really say that on the instructions. It says just to go ahead and use the drill. Um, but that might be for more easy access headlights that don't have so many corners. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Next up, it says that after all of the yellowing and glossiness has gone away, go ahead and switch to the 800 grit pad and basically use this one until all of the 500 grit pad scratches are gone and you can only see the finer 800 grit scratches. So that is what I'll go ahead and do now. And then once I am done with the drill, I'll go ahead and take it off again to go ahead and uh, sand the hard to reach areas as well, the same way that I did with the 500 grit. Okay, and if you guys can see, most of the 500 grit sand, um, sanding marks are gone. So now we'll just go ahead and do the last pass by hand. Okay, and now that we're done with the 800 grit um, sandpaper, now we'll go ahead and move on to the 3000. So it says for this one, I will um, add some water onto the pad and the headlight. And it says to give it about four to six passes until you start seeing some like 
white slurry stuff coming off of the headlight which is going to be the clear coat that's coming off if it doesn't happen it says to give it 10 to 12 uh, passes and by then you should start seeing some of the clear coat come off of it so I'll go ahead and add it to the drill and I'll add just some plain water to it and also to the headlight And it also says that if at any point it starts getting thick or dry to go ahead and just add some more water. All right, so that's the first pass through. So I'm guessing just about three more left to go. All right, and that was the third pass. So there's only one more left to go before I wipe it down and see how it looks if I have to give some more passes. And then on the edges, I'll just go ahead and sand it until I see that it's the same uh, level of I guess shininess or sanded as the rest of the headlight lens with this last pad you do want to be careful because they only give you one and this is just this side I still need to do the other headlight so I try to avoid bending it too much on there but what I'm realizing right now is that I got the back wet so hopefully it still works on the other side all right, and now I'll go ahead and wipe the lens down to give it the final look and hopefully if everything looks It says it should look foggy still but pretty smooth If that's how it looks then it's good to put on the wipes with the clear coat The only thing is that each wipe is for both of the headlights So the first wipe is for the first pass through and the second uh, wipe is for the second pass through so I'll go ahead and leave this one how it is for right now meanwhile I get the other um, headlight sanded and as you guys can see the tape is already starting to fail so I will have to be a bit careful with the clear coat pad so I don't get anything on the uh, paint of the car but now I'll just go ahead and wait for it to dry and then so I can see if there's any more sanding that needs to be done but meanwhile I'll go ahead and get started on the other side all right guys and there we have it I went ahead and did the other side while this side right here was drying and as you can see they both do look a little bit dull that's because I haven't put the clear coat wipe on them but they are a lot uh, cleaner looking than before this one right here does have some spots as you can see I think right there that is actually from the inside so I wasn't able to take that off this one has some small ones too but comparing to how they were they look a lot better a couple of things that I did not really think ahead of when I started this process was that this kit does make quite a bit of mess especially the last step where you use water it pretty much got the whole engine bay kind of covered in some of the clear coat and water that it was that I was sanding with the drill bit um, another thing too is that the glove didn't hold up it is a pretty thin glove so I kind of was expecting that so it's not really that big of a deal but that is something to keep in mind if some of you guys want to go ahead and get this kit um, now that I've gone ahead and wiped down both of the headlights um, on this side the tape didn't hold up the water made it not be sticky anymore so I went ahead and took that off on this side you can see that it's kind of starting to do the same thing too but anyways this is the last step and I'll just try to be a bit more um, careful with the clear coat that I don't get it on any of the paint of the body so the instructions say that both of these are the same thing they're both um, wiped with some clear coat it says to go ahead and put on the first coat so you will use this one on both of the headlights and then you'll go ahead and wait 5 to 15 minutes to so that it can go ahead and kind of cure before you go ahead and put on the other one or else you might end up smearing the clear coat and then after that it says to wait about an hour before spraying it with water having it rained on it is kind of dark here today it looks like it wants to rain hopefully it doesn't uh, but if it does hopefully it's after that hour after both of these have cure but I'll go ahead and start that process okay and it says not to unfold the wipe to go ahead and keep it like this and start from the top down so and then just to go ahead and overlap it about 50 percent 
I hope I am doing this right. Can't really see what I'm recording too, guys. So sorry if I am not showing what I'm doing. I'm trying to make sure this stays as clear as it can. So there's that side there. Did have some bubbles. Now I'll go ahead and move on to this side before it dries on me. Right, and there is the first coat right there. Honestly, it looks pretty good. So now I'll just go ahead and wait those 15 minutes before I go ahead and put the other pad. Um, and then hopefully that gives it the final touch for it to look really shiny. So now I'll just go ahead and wait. I will say back when I had my red Honda Prelude, um, that was before I started YouTube so I don't have any videos on it. I also did a headlight restoration, but that was more of a uh, DIY because I didn't get an actual kit I went ahead and sanded it pretty much the same thing but then after that I actually used a clear coat spray uh, spray can with some UV protection um, I felt that to be a bit easier mainly right now because I did use too much pressure especially on this headlight because the wipe was new so there is some you might not be able to see it oh you can see it right there um, it did run a little bit um, I tried to go back but it was kind of smearing up here so I decided just to go ahead and leave it like that it does say on the instructions not to put too much pressure or that could happen I didn't think I put that much but I guess it was because the towel or the wipe was pretty damp it started to go ahead and run a little bit but I mean it's not that big of a deal right there hopefully maybe with the second wipe when i go over it the second time i might be able to uh, cover that a little bit i'm not sure how that will work uh, but like i said maybe next time when i try to restore some different headlights i'll probably try to use a different kit uh, just to see what works better one of the things that i did like about the kit is that it honestly gives you so many of these uh, pads to go ahead and sand as well as tape this is just the one that fell from up there but I actually still have quite a bit left on the roll and I only had to use uh, pretty much one sanding pad of the 500 grit and one of the 800 grit, grit for each of the headlights so that was basically two on this side two on that side and then the 3000 grit they only give you one so I had to go ahead and use them on both but honestly I still have like I believe like four of the 500 grit and like two of the 800 grit so they do give you plenty of that I considered these to be pretty big headlights on the 350z I know there are like on bigger vehicles on SUVs and stuff like that they'll have bigger ones but yeah there sure should be enough tape and uh, pads for you to use and be able to sand it all the way um, how you want to sand it all right guys so it's been a little over 15 minutes the first coat of clear coat is now dry to the touch which is honestly surprising considering that it was really thick on there but it actually uh, went ahead and dried up pretty quickly so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat the second wipe and hopefully that can go ahead and fix some of the imperfections some of the spots that didn't get enough clear coat and that will be the final step if you guys can see this one too is also caked with um, clear coat so for this one I'll try to go even more slow and less pressure uh, I'll try to focus a little bit more sorry if you guys can't see it if it's not uh, focused correctly and go very slowly
I have to go back. I left some bubbles. It says to not have any bubbles in there. I think I might be going a bit too fast. And this is the last wipe, so however the results are, that's how it's gonna have to stay, unfortunately. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad. All right, gotta fix that bottom. It's always at the end when I pick it up that the bubbles seem to stay. All right, guys, and that is the final product. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that before I mess it up anymore. All right, guys, so my camera died due to having it on while I was doing the time lapse and whatnot. But like I was saying, this is the last step, and it happened to be the hardest one, honestly. Uh, it has quite a bit of runs. This one actually, I think, is the better of the two headlights, and that is because um, there was less clear coat on it when I went and put it on this one as opposed to the other one that it was a fresh wipe which is why that that one had all of the runs but here you can see it's still fresh on there but it's the final product as well as on this side here it's also how it's gonna stay there's the biggest run it had is right there but honestly from far away you can't really even tell it you would have to know that it's there uh to spot it out but yeah what i'm gonna go ahead and do is take a picture and actually just put it on my instagram if you guys want to see how it looks when it's all dry just go ahead and head over there and you guys can see the pictures of the actual finished product but yeah guys that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys liked it please go ahead like comment and subscribe and i'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one Repeat after me. Akuna Matata.